it's you know. Imagine if all the kids in the world disappeared. We don't know how it happened. Maybe it was the substitute teachers <laughs> that chose to shorten names because they're too ghetto. Or maybe it's the zero tolerance policies at those same schools that turned every schoolyard infraction into every prison yard profit. Maybe it's shoddy health insurance. Maybe 246 child laborers finally got eaten by machinery they were never properly trained to run in the first place. Maybe they all decided to wear hoodies and walk home. Or maybe we artists did it. We ignored our duties to teach, inform, and change. A bunch of RZAs producing whatever gangster shit we wanted and blaming the way they dressed for getting gunned down. We are getting our names in lights by avoiding what needs to be said, all the while turning a blind eye to the youth shelter they just shut down. We are killing our kids like it's what we want from them. Armed conflict alone has killed over two million children in the past decade. We grown-ups are a bunch of full cups just shooting at each other, wondering why it isn't working, when the answer is what we've neglected all along. We need to save the kids in us, and we need to save the kids around us, because the only possible solution to all of this is their innocence. Their little hands are the only tools of peace. I'm afraid of growing old, and I'm terrified that I won't. I've already seen the effects of losing one's imagination and hopes of flying. That is how we get revolutionists that topple governments only to become worse. They want complacency, and they want you to want, because there is no profit in Narnias and dreams. People look at me like I'm crazy for acting so childish, but they don't understand that this is a battle. I do not teach children for any reason other than to arm them, other than to make sure that I'm on the right side when the war hits. I hold on to what keeps me young, because that is what keeps me loud. So to you quiets who choose to threaten our salvation, I have a few questions. What will you wear when the Nike factories explode in Crayola purple and green? Assembly lines repurposed for shelves for collectibles and fire used to roast marshmallows. Where will you run when these kids take over your drones with PS4 controllers? Who will you shoot at when 300,000 child soldiers finally disassemble their AKs? What will you build instead of caskets for bones that haven't finished growing, when they figure out that they are the one thing we all did right, where will you hide when the meek inherit the earth?